If there is a reference of luxury that dreams are made of in terms of fine watchmaking and watchmaking in general, it's no doubt Cartier, a name and a legend that we touch with our fingertips when we hold a piece of this mythic jewelry. Each of its models are iconic, and when the Jeweler of Kings decides to update one of its emblems, it's always an instant success. This piece is one of these icons acclaimed by their clientele, so the House of Cartier decided to relaunch it with more fluidity, still very feline, and sensual as ever on a lady's wrist, the Panther Watch. The subject is extremely passionate because the watch is known among certain clients and certain mature markets, like France, in Europe, the United States, Japan. And on the other hand, you take a market like China, the watch has never been seen by people, so it's not at all in the collective conscience. That also has implications in the way we'll tell the story about its relaunch. The Panther watch as we know it today was actually born in 1983. And it was actually the first time a watch that is both a watch and a piece of jewelry was commercialized. Meaning that physically you could not tell the difference between the bracelet and the case. In the past, watches were in general cases and were presented on leather and metal bracelets. This was only presented with a metal bracelet with a total fusion from the aesthetic point of view. In fact, this watch is called the Panther, not as a kind of first intention, even before its creation, but after the fact, when the final result was achieved, thanks to what it meant. Meaning, the softness of its forms and curves. The case is actually a square with rounded angles. By the way, the case is designed to attach to the bracelet, and also by its great fluidity, large articulation, the great suppleness of its bracelet. It evokes sensuality, it evokes elegance, a great femininity, and a sort of analogy that appeared between the movement of the bracelet and the movement of the back of a panther when it's walking, meaning by the movement of the lynx, and that's why it's called panther and has enjoyed such success. Steel, yellow, white and pink gold, paved with diamonds or a set bezel, or even in limited edition with spots of lacquer or black enamel. The Panther is not only a style, but also a touch of technicality from Cartier. Originally, in 1983, when the Panther arrived on the market, it had quartz movements. Today, it still has quartz movements. Aesthetically, it's the same piece as the 80s. The Panther is the Panther. The big evolution over the 80s is certainly the technique of the bracelet, the links. We were able to consolidate the links. We ensured that after a very long wear, several years, these links work perfectly. We really worked on the fact that the bracelet remains comfortable over time. In 2017, with this new evolution of Panther, the strategy is clear. Cartier is concentrating on its strong points. It's necessary to know who we are. And I think today, the watch market has gone in many directions and with an intuition that everything is possible. So here at Cartier, we did indeed decide to recenter ourselves. And we say, it's very clear that women are our priority. Because we're a feminine house. We're a jewelry company by birth, by passion. We came to watchmaking very quickly. And the fact that we're a jeweler gives a unique position in the world of watchmaking. And we really want to claim that. And it's true that we're very lucky to have a fabulous history, icons, classics that have survived decades without aging a day. And the Panther is our best example.